Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how we can easily use Lightspeed. The first thing that you want to do is just scroll down below to the description on this video and click on the link and you will get it right here. Then you want to go to the top right and let's click free trial. Now we have multiple options if you want to use it for retail, for restaurant or e-commerce. I'm going to make a tutorial right now for e-commerce but if you want me to, I'm going, I can make it also for retail and restaurant too. So e-commerce start now. Then uh, explore the worst, most powerful POS for free. Then you have options to go with bicycle, gift shop, pet, services, electronics. That's completely up to you. So I'm going to click here for, let's say, electronics. Now I'm going to add a temporary email right here. And then I have number and everything. Then get started. And now. Mark Stone, fill in. Okay, this is the first name, last name. Next. Oh, wait a second. So I'll just add number like this. And now I'll get verification. So I'll have to get a phone. Okay, I got it. So now you will get a verification that you have to add right here. 296657. I'm going to click verify. Next, I'm going to choose an industry. So let's say you're going to choose industry if it's a business, computer software, education. So let's say I'm in business and I accept terms and conditions. Then I'm going to click finish right here. And now setting up. So now you'll have to wait for a while. Of course, you will get an email and everything. And here we go. So what you can do, and let me just show you the walkthrough and then we will continue step by step. Now, right here, you can have create your first product. This is how we're going to start. Then we are going to select a payment option, select a shipment method, customize the look of your online store and finish setting up your online store. So first thing first, let's just add here the product. And this is how we're going to start. Of course, on the end of the video, we'll look also on the settings and what you can do there. So when you're going to click on the add a product, you would add a title, full title brand supplier. So let's say this would be Nike shoes. And full title can be again, Nike shoes, let's say brand Nike. And I'm going to click here, add. And supplier can be let's say sun supplier and you would add a supplier right here then description these are nike shoes which are amazing you would just like add here really good description price included so let's say this is going to be 50 euro quantity 100 let's say again you can choose it and change that replace the current variants with a predefined set of sizes, colors or styles and you would add right here product set let's say uh, black okay and you would choose it here and delivery time frame you would select it right here if you have uh, set the delivery time frame for this product let's say two weeks Opa. and then we have it right here so let's go back so first thing first, let's add a new one here. Uh, standard between seven to 14 days. You can have work days or weeks and in stock message and out of stock message. So if it's uh, in stock, it's going to be two days. If it's out of stock, it's going to be, let's say three, four days, weeks, save. Save and voila. Now I can simply choose it. Same with uh, when you're going to add a product set, you can choose it right here. Then let's press continue. And now I'm going to upload image. And let's say I'm going to add shoes. See. And I have everything here. So I can click here, view in your store. 
Nike shoes. Look at this. And voila. My recommendation would be like changing uh, the size of it. So it's like pretty on the screen. But this is pretty much it, how it looks like. When I would scroll down below, I can see the title, full title, brand, supplier, sun supplier, brand Nike. And you can also hide it from search engine if you want to. And then you can have like content and add the main description to display on your product page. And then we have like inventory variants here. So let's say manage attributes like wave inventory and pricing for your variants. You would add it right here. Then product set. Again, what you would add here and then how you can add more in images and categories. So I would definitely recommend having category here. So we have this one and you can also add new categories in the settings. Then advanced options. These are like filters, add the filters to help customers find products faster, material, color, size. And again, I can add it to filter. And let's say this would be color. And then uh, I can add related products. So I can related products if this is going to be a cross sell specifications, custom fields. These will be the specifications about the product and quantity discount if you want to and product bundles. Now, then what you want to do is just simply click save. Then when we have it, I can go back to home and as you can see, we have our first product. What I can do further, I can simply select a payment options. So I would click here, add a provider. And you have multiple options here. If you want to add a Stripe, PayPal, Agon, Payon, CISO, Doc Data, there are plenty of options that you can add. So that's like completely up to you, which thing you're going to choose. Shipment details is really similar. Also select method. And here you can add a manual shipping method or you can integrate with the easy post. So I can click here, add the manual shipping method. And you have options to add default shipping in store pickup or cash on delivery. So that's up to you, which one you're going to choose. And then you would press continue. And then default shipping description, you can add the shipping rates right here and change it. Like this really depends based of what shipping method you're going to choose and also uh, who is your provider, right? And then you would choose a countries here and then you have a tax rate. That's again, depends where are you from? So this is how we can do it. And this is how we can work with it. And then you can like integrate with it easy post if you want to, right? Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is when I go to back to settings and home and you would choose a shipping method. What you can do is to choose on theme settings. And here we are improved the theme editing, right? Okay. Make general changes to your overall design, uh, preview different screen sizes and you can publish it. Okay. You can find what you're looking for, read the theme documentation and contact the theme developer. And now you see right here how it looks like. So then first navigation, you can edit that, right? Then we can change the logo and add a logo here. See, and we have a logo, then we can white logo, logo height, favicon. Favicon is a, something that you would see right here on the top left. And the further we go, What you can do then also is, I just wanted to make it yellow. So when we go further back to settings, you can have message bar here, display settings, pages. So you would have homepage and headlines. And this is like the step-by-step -step 
what you can do and how the e-commerce your site would look like and you have multiple options here then you can simply choose it how it looks on mobile on pc and you can simply uh, like publish it on top right and that's pretty much it how you can do it so these are like the theme settings and you can edit the theme and again like you can edit that see changing the visual the advanced the header And then you have on the bottom left documentation. And yes, so this is pretty much it how you can work with e-commerce. And now when you have the customized look of your online store, you can finish setting up online store. You can simply contact Lightspeed. Then I'm going to show like what you can find on a, under home, you would find statistics. But you have all the necessary statistics then orders where you would find all the orders the invoices the quotes that you can also create on top right and then uh you're gonna see also check out here content design the theme editor the theme store so you can choose and install the theme here you would find headlines here featured products featured categories and you can really optimize it as much as you want this is like the introduction to like speed e-commerce and then you would have a content here in content you can simply add a new page and you can always open the page and view the page on the top right see and you can simply go on the top right and click the new page if you want to. So, and here you would already find page details, content, and everything. Then you would find a marketing here. Discount cones, discount rules, wish list. And yeah, so this is pretty much it how you do it. In block, you'll be simply creating writing a block. You would click here, add a block here, my stores block. And you would click save. And then you would like blog posts here and you can simply go to the right and add a blog post. And uh, you let's say, Meister block. Welcome to our block. Okay. And when you're going to be here, you can simply start writing a title, language, offer, tag, summary, everything with content. And you would write right here. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So this is how you can do it. It's nothing to be like afraid of. And then you have applications here that you can like per party, etc. that you can install and settings and tools. So this is pretty much it, how you can do it. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. I'll be really happy to help you and guide you. So yeah, thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye see ya